kidsinofyourbands.com and I'm here at the Mets. Can you introduce yourselves? I'm Hayden. I'm Chris. What song reminds you of being a kid? Uh, man, there's a lot that remind me of being a kid. Um, I think that's that's what we love about music in general. It can be anything from, from an old, really loud, rambunctious punk song that makes me feel like the first time I, I heard that kind of music, or it can be theme for Sesame Street, you know what I mean? Any, anything. I was just going to say anything by Kenny Loggins. Yeah. yeah. Anything at all by Kenny Loggins. That just reminds me of being alive. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you got paid to sleep, would you be rich or poor? I'd be very poor. I would be the richest person on the planet. <laughs> me too. So much that I wouldn't be able to do anything with the money because I'd be sleeping all the time. Have you ever seen a ghost? I felt like I've been around a ghost, but I can't say I've ever seen one. I've had some pretty eerie feelings from time to time, but I live by myself, so maybe it's just maybe it's just me in the mirror when I first wake up. Me? Yeah, yeah, I see them all the time. What sound drives you crazy? The sound of my own voice. <laughs> uh. I hate the, like the sound of people eating and like things like that, like really gross sort of smacky noises and stuff like that. It really, really any, gets my goat. Any mouth noises. Yeah. Anything loud, loud eating is, drives me insane. I hate nails on a chalkboard. That's, that's, that's a, a close one. second. Yeah. I think that's a pretty universal one. It's it's the worst. Or when people file their nails. Yeah. yeah. That's not a good sound. Or Anything the, to do with nails. Yeah. Even the sound of someone clipping it. It's a very distinct click when someone's clipping their nails. You can hear it down the hall and it just makes you shudder. If you made an album just for kids, what would it be called? It'd be called it's three. <laughs> uh, it'd be called just for kids. What would you do to stay busy if you lost power for three days? I would probably read, or I do a lot of drawing, drawing and painting and stuff. I guess it'd be hard to do without power in terms of light, so I could see what I was doing, but. I think I would enjoy not having to have a cell phone or computers, no emails to answer, that kind of stuff. So I would, I'd occupy my time with a lot of older interests, reading and drawing and stuff like that. I just hang out with my dog. If you could invite any leader from any country to your house for a day, who would you invite and what would you do with them? Any leader from any country? Mm. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I would invite Stephen Harper, the Prime Minister of Canada, and ask him why he's so stupid. <laughs> he wouldn't be allowed to leave until he told me exactly. If there was a Met superhero comic book, book, what would each of your superpowers be? Mine would be hmm. something really cool, like uh, flying, because I don't want to talk about any of the stuff that I actually do. <laughs> that's a that's a tough one. I've always thought the the main ones are either flying or invisibility. I've always thought those are the two top runners, and I still haven't I still haven't been able to decide. Depends on what what day of the week. So I could go for either. If I could do both, that'd be that'd be perfect. You'd never see me. I'd be up there, invisible. And finally, can you name all the Spice Girls? I think so. You can. I think so. I don't even think I can name one. There's I mean, just like by like their like scary, like that kind of way. Yeah, that's one. Scary, scary, sporty, baby, baby, yeah, sporty, yeah, ginger. Was it ginger? Yeah. yeah. Was it? Okay. See, I didn't know. And one more. Um, posh, posh. Oh, those are the days. Nailed Thank it. You. Thank you. Thanks so much.